Hi friends, welcome to my channel Super Knowledge Three Matri. This is Vakara Masidiki, and in this video, uh, I will tell you about the ground fault troubleshooting in fire alarm system. Ground fault or earth fault? Okay. So, what are the causes of ground fault, and what is ground fault? Now, how we troubleshoot the ground faults? Okay. So, let's start first. Uh, what is a ground fault? Uh, a ground fault occurs when one or more electrical components are short circuited to a ground potential. Okay, in fire alarm system, this can occur when an exposed or open wire or alarm components touches a metal grounded object such as junction box, ceiling grid, any electrical, any metal object located in a building structure. Okay. So when our any wire is nicked or to metals or touches the metals then ground faults comes in the panel okay. Same uh, short circuit and ground fault. Uh, short circuit when hot and natural wires touches ground fault hot wires is ground okay. So these are the conditions very so it's very important to troubleshoot the ground fault because this ground fault may be uh, affect our panel components okay so uh, this is uh, any again uh, it was in Hindi uh, my old video what is earth fault or how we can how we will troubleshoot the earth fault okay so i will show you here how to fall the ground for how to troubleshoot the ground fault okay we have uh, maybe our ground fault is in panel or is in loop filled wiring okay so if uh, and we will first remove all the cables from all the loop cables and if it is not there in the panel it means the ground fault is in loops okay so if uh, it is in the loop or if uh, it's okay I, I still there then it will maybe because this ground fault may be in the battery maybe in the cards or maybe in the field wiring loops or devices okay many things so here I uh, if it, and in uh, if it is in the loops it will indicates that it is positive or negative voltage okay because ground fault means low resistance continuity to ground device ground fault means low resistance continuity to ground okay so it will be in the input or output device circuits so we have here uh, you know class A class B so class A uh, our here uh, one cable is going from panel and return back so if there is a ground for here how we will solve it okay so we have here more like 250 devices okay more devices so it's uh, not uh, any easy to search one by one the ground fault and check by your multimeter because we need multimeter here so uh, we will divide our loop in 50 percent we will open like we will start and return so we will remove this return cable and then we will check the ground fault okay let's assume we have ground fault here anywhere Maybe earth fault is here 
at the device number 8 okay so we will open already we remove here then continuity the power is only coming from a start and they will open at the 7 then we will check the ground fault either it is in the panel or not if not showing there it means it is in the removed area or isolated area we are we go we are isolating and the area okay so we will again again connect from there and open at here 9 to 10 then if it is so it means it will it is in that area between 9 and 7 okay so we will remove again from 7 and 9 okay and then we will check there so by this method isolating we can reach to that particular single device when we have earth fault okay because our duty loop is very big and we have 250 devices maybe 200 devices so we will isolating we will isolate or the devices of the loops and we will search like this method okay this are the fault sometimes this are the fault also coming because of you know and what is the reasons of earth faults like uh, if there is leakage on the leakage on the of the water on the devices then maybe this also comes ground fault okay short ground faults also if you have like one in my one case at one site uh, our remote indicated cable was laying on the metallic surface of the false ceiling that's why coming earth fault ground fault okay so and also water causes ground fault so by this way you can easily yes friends so by this isolation and elimination method and we will divide our loops in a small partition and we can easily find the ground fault okay either it is positive or negative so this ground fault isolation method you can easily find okay so thanks for watching this was in uh, in hindi one guy from english he requested me to put in english so i put this one maybe it will help him for me